Holy cow. Welcome to Donnie's Hangout Adventures. And I'm not really wearing a Christmas shirt. Or I sort of am. But anyway. Snoop Dogg. What my wife got me for Christmas. I'm wearing it today. I got my son one too. And she got her son one too. So I don't know if he's wearing his today or not. But I know I am. Snoop Dogg. Um, you know what? Merry Christmas. Um, you know what? It's a different type of Christmas this year. Um, not one that I necessarily planned out because you don't plan out this stuff. Um, you know, life, life, stuff in life, you know, tends to happen. Stuff you can't, you know, prepare for. You know, it's the first Christmas without Dad. So, you know, that's always a little tough. But I didn't know I was going to be having a Christmas without Mom and dad, yeah, mom's still alive, but the essence of who she was is pretty much gone. I mean, let, 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 let's face it. I hope she's having a good Christmas. I, I really do. Um, I can't, I'm not allowed to have any contact with her what whatsoever. And that's a whole other separate story. And... You know, I'm doing okay. I'm doing completely fine. I wish I could talk to mom, but you know what? That is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. It's what they wanted. Especially mom is what she wanted. Brother got what he wanted. He doesn't have to live alone. He doesn't have to spend another Christmas by himself. Until mom dies. And when mom dies, which... He needs to, I hate to say this, he, he needs to face reality. It's part, of life, it's part of life, unfortunately. My wife's parents, they're still alive. They're getting up there in age. But even we know that at some point, they're going to end up dying. It's part of life. It's a part of reality. We all are at some point are going to die. You you just cherish the moments you have, and it's a reality that brother can't seem to face. Especially, I hate to bring the mood down a little bit on Christmas, but it's just a reality. He does, he lives in an alternate universe. He lives in a fantasy land, pretty much, that he thinks he's never going to be alone. Well, at some point you will, because mom's no spring chicken. She's a stroke victim, and, and, and she's a fall risk, too. So, but she ain't going to live forever. She's 80. I don't know how many years she'll live after this. I don't, know, I, don't think she, I don't think she'll live years, especially living with brother. Be that as it may, I just hope she's having a good Christmas. I don't really want to know what she's doing on Christmas. I just hope she's having a good Christmas. And, you know, Christmas has become too commercial. I realized this a few years ago when Brother would lose his mind with Christmas. He would. He would spend, and I, I don't get why he would do this. He would spend $100, $200 on each person and just buying them gifts that they would never use ever again. You don't really need to do that. You don't really need to do that. It's the thought emphasis behind it. I didn't have the funds. Actually, we didn't have the funds to really spend a lot of money on gifts. And yet, we had a great one. But yet, we had a great Christmas. Because it's the thought that, that actually is behind it. I spent, I got my wife four gifts. Four gifts. And I love every single one of them. And she loves every single one of them. Guess how much I spent? Less than five dollars. Seriously. I that's, wouldn't have guessed that. that. I didn't spend that much. I didn't have much to spend. <clears throat> that's pretty much what I did. I went to Dollar Tree, the dollar aisle, and bought gifts. That's how I did it. That's how I did it. I it's did Walmart Plus on your gifts. She did Walmart Plus with on my cards. gifts with gift cards. You know, you will have a nice meal later, and you know, it's just 
Christmas is not about being extravagant. Me and my wife, we'll just spend it together. That's what we've always done. That's what we've always done. That's what we did last year. That's what we did the year before. That's what we'll do. We'll do this year. We just spend it together. Just me and her, and just a cow. That's pretty much what we do. And it's. I think Christmas has become too commercial. Is I was saying because it's not supposed to be about gifts and you know extravagant gifts and all that. It's about you know. I know I say that about Thanksgiving. It's about being thankful and cherishing each moment. Because let me tell you, I go through my mind, you know, thinking of good memories from mom and years past. And I cherish those memories now. Maybe I didn't cherish them so much then, but I really cherish them now. So whatever you're doing, whether you're by yourself, or if you're, you're with a family, or, or if you're with friends, whatever you're doing. Just cherish the moments you have, because you never know when that could end. You never know where that could end. Because you look, Dad died here not too long ago. Like, um, what was it, August? I think it was August. Yeah, August. So, you know, I thought he would be here for another Christmas. He wasn't, but you just, you just, you just never know. I thought I would be seeing mom on Christmas. I didn't know that a month ago she was going to disown me. I didn't know that. Didn't know that at the time. And I, I do cherish the memories I had with mom. And I hope she's having a good Christmas. I doubt she is. I doubt, I doubt sincerely she is. I know me and my wife's Christmas has been great. And you know what? Just make sure later... You know, when you're getting set, when you're sitting down to eat, um, I don't do it, I don't say this too often, but you know, say, say a prayer before you eat and tell God what you're thankful for and, you know, maybe pray for world peace. I know it's not going to happen, but hey, we can all um, hope and dream on that. And you know what? Just make sure you pray later when you eat and just Fill your face. Overeat. And that's what Christmas is. That's what, that's what eating is about on Christmas. It's overeating. And you know, I um, want to say this also. I know there's a lot of homeless people around the world on Christmas. That's Thanksgiving too. Both, both of those holidays. That, you know, they're probably going to have to go to a church or somewhere to get something to eat and you know what those are always that's always a sad thing to see but you know I was there for a brief time earlier this year that you know if you do see a homeless person you know give them something to eat you know give them a couple of bucks you know do something nice for them especially on Christmas you know not everybody can be in a in a place yeah get them a meal from somewhere you know, I don't know we don't talk about that too much, but you know, not everybody can be as lucky as some other people on, you know, Christmas because people are struggling, especially nowadays with the way stuff's going right now. And you know what? Um, Merry Christmas. I do not say Happy Holidays because I've always hated that. I've always said Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And in three days, because I was almost... A Christmas baby, almost. I missed it by about three days. My birthday will be in three days as well. I'm not going to reveal my age because I'm getting older. Can I? Sure, why not? No, nope, I won't. Okay. Sure. So in three days, my will be my birthday. And then my sister, who's nine years, three days older than me, was born on New Year's, which... So and so was one of her niece, one of my wife's nieces. My first niece ever, actually. Well, you know what? Merry, Merry Christmas and just a cow. Anything you want to add? Happy Hanukkah. Okay, that's random. You know what? Merry Christmas, everybody. And well, that's.
That's all, folks.